Okay, so for today's lesson, we're going to be looking at a diminished movement by Kevin Bourne in the song You Are God Alone by Marvin Sapp. So the song is in the key of B flat. All right, and he goes down to that chord, that G minor chord. Okay, so basically what we're going to be doing, we're going to be approaching G minor by using two diminished chords. Um, let's let's first start on how to create a, a diminished chord so let's say we have c okay so let's say we want to create a c diminished chord we would put our thumb on c and then we would count up three half steps from c so we have one two three three half steps so like a, a minor third so we basically we just take two minor thirds so from E flat, we take a minor third, one, two, three. Okay, now we're at G flat. Then from here, we take another minor third or three half steps. Okay, so we have C diminished chord. Now the thing about diminished chords, um, when you invert them, you get other diminished chords. So basically in this diminished chord, I could get four diminished chords out of this one okay so this first one is called C diminished if I invert it by taking this C and putting it up there then I get E flat diminished if I take the E flat and bring it up here then now I have F sharp diminished seven okay if I take that F sharp bring it up here now I have A diminished seven okay so these four chords are the same chord it's just different inversions of it okay so this is a c diminish a e flat diminish f sharp diminish and an a diminish okay now what we need to do now we need to do something called drop twos okay drop two is a very popular movement or concept done in gospel music where they will just drop the highest note okay so basically if i have this chord right here c diminished seven i will drop the second highest note okay the f sharp would be the second highest note so i'll drop that okay then i'll put that in my left hand so my left hand will be playing the f sharp because i removed it right there okay i'm not doubling up okay i'm dropping it okay so this is a drop two okay so basically um if you go to that other inversion e flat diminish you drop the second highest note that will be the a okay if you go to f sharp diminish i drop the second highest note i drop that c if i go to a diminish I drop the second highest note which is E flat okay and basically what you do to practice you just go go through your inversions make sure you know the chords okay then when you're familiar with the chords um, start practicing dropping the second highest note so just do it like an exercise so you do something like okay and you just practice that you could take it up okay so you just practice dropping the second highest note okay and you do that for all um diminished chords so we just did that for c diminished chord then let's look at our d flat diminished chord okay so we are d flat or c sharp we take three half steps or minor third okay three half steps again one more okay so this is c sharp diminished seven okay we do the same thing take the lowest note bring it at the top invert the chord bring that e at the top take that g bring that g at the top 
take that B flat, put that B flat at the top. Okay, now we're back at the chord we started with. Okay. Okay. So like I said with the other chord we just played, I want you to practice the moving, shifting between the inversions. Okay? So just practice shifting between those inversions. You can mix it up. Okay? So so this is C diminish. This is C diminish, right? All right? You can mix it up with the D flat diminish. So Okay, so practice that. Then practice your drop twos. So we just did uh, the C diminished drop twos. Now practice your <coughs> your D flat diminished drop twos. So we have so we drop the second highest note. So the G would go at the bottom. We go up. Okay. All right, we go up. Okay, now B flat would be at the bottom. We go up. Now our D flat will be at the bottom. And then finally, this one, our E would be at the bottom. Okay, so get comfortable with playing drop two inversions, okay? Okay, so basically the movement is alternating between the D flat diminished seven and the C diminished seven. So what Kevin Bond did, he started with this chord. Okay, this D flat diminished seven. Okay, and he played it in a drop two form. So, so the movement is. Alright, so first chord D flat diminish with the G drop two. Okay, like I said before, we invert that chord. Okay, so we take that E, bring it down there. So we go back. So okay. Then we go to the C diminished seven. Okay. Okay, we just bring the F sharp down here. Okay, so it's we invert the C diminished seven again. Okay, go back. Then we land on our G minor. Okay, so let me go over that again. D flat diminish with this inversion. Okay, then this inversion back to this one. Then the C diminish inversion. Okay. Okay, let me play it slow for you. Okay, so basically you could use these movements in uh, any song. Um, once you're approaching the uh, a minor chord, you could use these movements. So let's say we're um, we're singing that song. How great is our God? How great is our God? Sing to me how great is our God, right? So, so since we're going to that G minor, we could just simply use a diminished chord to go to that um, G minor, okay? All right. 
okay so this is the end of the lesson guys if you have any questions if you have any comments just leave it down below in the comment section and i will sure to reply to your comments and please if you enjoyed this video please leave a like on the video and if you haven't subscribed please do so as it will really help out the channel so thank you and goodbye